Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to the channel. In this short video, I just want to tell you about two new bikes that I just recently got, both of them off Facebook Marketplace, both of them for a really good price. First one is this one here. It's a Maya Tata 710. And I got this for $30. And for $30, it's actually in amazing condition. It does work, it does ride, it does have some issues. But my plan with it is I'm going to do a full restoration. This will be kind of my third ever full restoration on the channel. The first one being the giant ATX to road bike conversion. Second being the Schwinn uh, bike back there, Schwinn Lee Tour. And then this will be kind of my third big bike build of the channel. So I'm pretty excited about that. Um, yeah, I don't know what to say. It's going to be a full restoration though. It means almost everything will go. Um, not sure on the color yet. By the way, it is going to be I'm not going to say painted, maybe painted, maybe powder coated. I have a possibility there too. But let me know what you think for color. Um, should I try it with the original color, this kind of light, almost sky blue? Should I do something more like I did with the Schwinn? I always love black. I even thought maybe red would be cool, but I don't know. Let me know what you guys think for the color. I'm pretty much open to anything. But uh, most of the parts will be replaced, probably including the wheels. I'm not sure if I'm going to go with carbon or some alloy wheels. Uh, this this project I hope will be a little bit higher quality than my other two. The the first one was the most hacky-ish. The next one is a little bit more better maybe. This one hopefully will be a little bit more better, but it's still going to be on a budget. Don't worry about that. I'm always on a budget. I'm super cheap, so that that's clear. But um, let me know what you guys think. Give me some ideas in the comments on the direction I should go with this bike. Um, by the way, I do plan to bring this with me on a trip to Colorado next year, and so it's gonna need to be able to serve the purposes both my road bike and light gravel bike. So if there's some light gravel roads, I want to be able to take it on that too. Maybe I'll bring two sets of wheels with different tires for that. So mainly it's going to be a road bike, but it needs to also be able to uh, serve double duty as a gravel bike, a light duty gravel bike. So let me know in the comments what you think. Let's go check out the next bike that I got. Whoa. Okay. Now this is a big one. Oh, I had to move things out of the way to get this this tank over here. Ooh. Oh, it's a lot heavier too. Oh, my arms. <laughs> I don't even know how. I don't even, I don't even know what I'm doing here. I'll, I'll just stay out of the frame so you can see the bike. This is a 1960s AMF Skyrider. I kind of impulse bought this one. Again, off Facebook Marketplace, but it was only $50. Um, yeah, it, it just looks so cool with the tank and everything and back here has like a special rack. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with this. Should I do a full restoration, taking it all down, you know, painting it or powder coating it, doing everything, or should I do kind of a minimal restoration where I just kind of fix it up, clean up the paint the best I can, try to fix that rust the best I can. I'd definitely be getting rid of this basket. I don't think this was supposed to be on here really. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do with this thing. So let me know what you guys think how deep should I go down this resto rabbit hole? Obviously it's going to need new tires. Uh, the hub, something's wrong with that. Check that out. There's like tons of play. It does, it will, according to the prior owner, he said it will pedal and it will stop, but there's like, you know, half of a pedal stroke of play. So something's wrong in the hub. I think we're missing a spoke back there. Definitely the wheels and hubs are going to need some work, but other than that, it actually should work. It doesn't have a front brake, so that keeps it really simple. Um, then, you know, the paint and, and stuff like that. The rust isn't too bad. There is a spot here that has some surface rust where the, where the paint is worn out completely. And I see this, uh, just now I've seen that this, um, this rear rack is totally broken here. So I'll have to fix that somehow. But I, and really, I don't think it's gonna be that much work if I wanna do a light restoration, meaning just fix the hubs and wheels or replace them. Luckily, they're 26 inch wheels. Sorry, the neighbor is uh, putting their garage down. Yeah, as I was saying, they're 26 inch wheels, so I could probably get some pretty cheap, pretty simple wheels just about anywhere if I wanted to. Uh, obviously, obviously it needs new tires. Other thing that kind of bothers me is this like plastic, vinyl, whatever, saddle cover is pretty ugly, so I'm not sure what to do with that. I don't want to spend a ton of money on the bike, but it would be cool if I could get it going, you know, pretty cheaply and make it look nice, and I don't know what I'm going to do with it, probably have to sell it. So anyway, let me know what you think about this bike and if you have any idea what the year is. From what I've heard and read, and I can't find like on a serial number or something like that with this bike, but from what I'm seeing, it's probably made in the 60s, possibly like the mid 60s. So let me know if you have any knowledge on, on old AMF, you know, uh, cruiser bikes. 
All right, that's about it for this video. Thanks for watching. Please leave a like and a comment down below. See you guys in the next one. Bye.